Hey everybody, this is Jennifer from Sing to Kids, and I wanted to talk to you today about um, taking a digital classroom that you've created and putting it into Canvas. So I know many of you have been building digital classrooms, um, and maybe you've even used the tutorial put together by my good friend, Melissa Stauffer. This is her website, Mrs. Stauffer's Music Room, and she has a blog that takes you through all these directions. There's also a YouTube video that, that will take you through step by step. But here's what I wanted to show you. So if you're working in Canvas, um, you can, I'm going to go ahead and just start a new course so that I can walk you through what that looks like. I'm just going to label this K music because I already have a kindergarten music class going, but I wanted to show you how you do this. So you're going to create your course. And once you've done that, you're going to go to pages and you're going to add a new page. And again, I'm just going to name this K Music because that's the class that it is. Now I want to go get my digital classroom. So here's the thing. You have to have created your digital classroom before this point. And, and that's why I showed you Melissa's um, blog, because if you haven't done that yet, you're going to want to go through her tutorial step by step. She makes it so easy for you. So here's one of my Google Classrooms. Um, or one of my virtual classrooms that I've done in Google Slides. And everything is hyperlinked already. So you can see I've already put these hyperlinks in here. I have songs that I want them to sing. Um, I have storybooks for them. I have videos. So, you know, you can see the different hyperlinks around here. Not everything is hyperlinked because some of it's just kind of building towards those things, but everything is hyperlinked in my slide. And just like Melissa said in her tutorial, you're gonna go to File, and you're going to go publish to the web and I want you to click on embed and you're going to grab this code here and copy it and then you're going to take it back into your uh, page but instead of just copying and pasting here I want you to go up here to HTML editor and that's where you're going to paste it and then I want you to click save and publish and when you do you're going to see that here is your slide and here's the best part. All of those live links that you had set up already carry over. So you don't have to redo those links whatsoever. All of those links are ready to go for you. And so the best part is that it's once you create everything in the Google slide and you link everything, all you have to do is embed that and then put it right into your uh, music page in Canvas and your students can do activities from there. And then again, if you want to assign assignments, you can do that for specific activities. But this way, everything is all together. It's really seamless. It's really easy. And you can still use those cute digital classrooms in your different grade level pages for Canvas. All right, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, drop me a line below in the comments and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And I'll link Melissa's um, uh, blog page to this as well. So if you've not built a digital classroom, you can learn how to. Thanks so much, bye.